We are taking our viewers live now to the Health Minister, Greg Hunt. He's speaking in Melbourne. He has a, a very distinguished career, uh, having served at sea on a number of occasions, having served in the Middle East, uh, having in particular uh, been the uh, Chief of Staff uh, to Navy and uh, also having been decorated for, for his service. So, um, uh, Eric, thank you very much for, for joining us. Uh, today I want to deal with uh, the case update. Uh, uh, Commodore Young will deal with the, uh, the rollout primarily and uh, I'll also talk about National Cabinet and directions coming forward from, uh, from yesterday. Uh, now, in terms of cases, uh, no uh, additional community cases again today. We're very fortunate in Australia. Uh, we have uh, seen no lives lost. Um, that makes 65 days uh, this year with uh, no cases and uh, one life lost, sadly, throughout the course of the year. Uh, around the world, and the reason I do this is because it puts into perspective the scale of the challenge. Around the world, over 704,000 cases and uh, over 9,500 lives lost. And uh, sadly, we see these, these numbers every day. Uh, the world is experience, experiencing a new wave of uh, the coronavirus outbreak. So the pandemic not only continues, but it has reached a new wave with uh, case numbers frequently being above 700,000. And in the last week, we've seen some days of over 800,000 cases. Uh, in the uh, year to date, uh, there have been over 59 uh, million cases and 1.2 million lives lost. And an extraordinary figure. Uh, with regards uh, to tests, Australians keep coming forwards. And I want to thank Australians for doing that. 16.4 million tests to date. And um, all of that is uh, about ensuring we find early cases. And from those early cases, uh, we are able to contact trace and to prevent the spread. Uh, with regards to the uh, rollout, Commodore, Hill, uh, Commodore Young will primarily uh, provide the uh, information, but 67,034 uh, new uh, vaccinations in the last 24 hours, a number that I think is very heartening, and 1.653 million uh, vaccinations. So by the end of today, we will have passed over 1.7 million vaccinations around Australia. That's a six-fold increase in total vaccinations in four weeks since the GP rollout or Phase 1B began. So that acceleration, uh, which was uh, predicted, has occurred. And uh, when you think of 1.7 million Australians having been vaccinated, uh, that is an extraordinary achievement. More to come, more to do. Um, and that's where National Cabinet comes in.